Hi, welcome back to therave.com. My name is Jim Tindall. I'm sitting here with Hey Monday. Hi. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. Introduce yourselves one more time because I am awful with names and no matter how long I looked at you guys on the internet, I, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody. Some, it's all good. Hey, Sometimes I forget my own name. Yeah. But Matthew. Matthew. Good. <laughs> you got it this time. That's good. No, uh, my name is Mike and I play guitar All right. Hey Monday. I'm Cassidy and I sing. My name is Alex and I play guitar. Uh, my name is Pat and I play drums. Nice. How, how many times have you guys been here? Oh, God. I I'm, wish we would have counted. Off the top of my head, I'm going to shoot for eight. Eight times. Probably about eight. Wow. Probably about eight. That sounds about right. Yeah. Every time we've come to Milwaukee, we've played the rave. You guys have probably been here more than I have, actually. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I still I still get lost. I do, too. That's okay. And every lost. time we come here, this room just gets nicer and nicer. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. they were over there once, and they've come back here. And yeah. I remember when we <laughs> used to do interviews here, we had to climb through a door and bend over through. Yeah, that's little, that. Yeah, that's in the other. Yeah, it's yeah. a little low headroom. Now we can stand room. tall and walk through, and it's nice. Yeah. You guys uh, just had a new music video come out, right? Yes. About a month ago, Candles. Yes. Is that right? Mm-hmm. That's right. How's the response been for the video so far? I saw it on your website. It's been awesome. Um, we, we're over a million a million wow. views right now, and uh, it was really cool because it came out right before the show Glee used it for mm-hmm. their show, and um, it was just the perfect timing. Um, the response was really good. It was a different look for us, you know, a little more serious, a little darker than... Yeah anything we've ever done before so mm. it was cool yeah, i saw your last video i don't want to dance that was more fun kind of right literally dancing and that yeah, kind of thing yeah. and you go to this and it's a lot more yeah a little more intense a little serious is that kind of the step you're taking in the new album that you guys are working on too um it's just kind of it was a change of pace and mm. it's a very it's a very melancholy like sad song yeah. so we figured to go with that it would have to be kind of a darker more like elegant video than than the last three we've done but mm-hmm. um i wouldn't say our new music is like that um in general we're still fun and and poppy but you know sometimes we it's a little more mature like our our ep beneath it all kind of showed that a little bit a little more mature side so okay. but yeah we're still fun like youthful yeah did you thing. shoot the video did you shoot it in la Yes. All right. Where was the what was the set like? Was it an actual like house that you went to or? Oh man. It was a, oh. it was an all night shoot. Um, yeah. Okay. It was in like a an, an old house that they had converted into something that they usually film in. I guess. Okay. Wow. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like warehouse style, but there were like rooms and stuff. They had like these lights because it was it was at nighttime. They had these lights like outside, kind of like imitating the sun going by, and so yeah. it was pretty intense. It was really cool. Yeah, my yeah. favorite video that we've ever done. Nice. It was crazy because it was uh, for some reason in LA around that time. It was around 30 degrees at night, okay. and and the heat couldn't be on because it'd be too loud. Yeah. So we were just freezing, freezing, freezing. It was like this huge, <laughs> like four story warehouse okay. and every level there was a different scene on and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just all concrete and it was so cold. I just remember it being freezing and she, oh. poor, poor little Cassidy over here had to wear like these little dresses and, and oh, shirts yeah. course, and stuff. I at least got to have a jacket and like yeah. jeans and stuff. And she was just sitting there like shaking. <laughs> yeah. And it, for some reason, when the music came on, I was totally normal. But as soon as it ended, I was just back to like, <laughs> yeah. Did you like run into a big wool coat or something? Pretty right much. Yeah. yeah. Someone ran a coat out to me at pretty much every five minutes. So that wow. was nice. nice. We had a warm room kind of like this, but we call it Florida, Florida. <laughs> I just remember that. We live there. That? Cool. Yeah, I remember that. Okay. Speaking of cold, you guys just came into Milwaukee. Yes. At the, probably the best time of the year right now because it's really? like 40 degrees outside. No, and I'm raining. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Awful. Yeah. Had a nice walk this morning. You guys got to come more towards the summer when it's like 90 degrees and humid. Uh, and you I honestly yourselves. appreciate the cold weather because uh, in Florida, it just gets so ungodly hot mm-hmm. during the summer yeah. that... I mean, I almost can't stand it. It's nice if you want to go to the pool or the beach or something, right. but if you have to do any kind of physical labor yeah. or, you know, like walk from your front door yeah, to do your any, car like, door. Uh, normal things. Down the awful, driveway, yeah. you're already sweating. Live, you know? live. <laughs> That's if right. If you want to live, it's, it's difficult. Mm. The Beneath It All EP was the last release you guys had, and that was about a year ago, last year. Is that right? And you yeah, had, you had a full August. Length, yeah, you had a full-length album before that. Mm-hmm. So... Is the next release going to be more of the full length kind or more of the extended play version? Um, we were actually thinking about this for a while, and um, it's still undecided. But mm-hmm. I feel like we owe it to, to our fans, and we also we have enough songs to do a completely new okay. full length, and that's you know what we want because we just we want we don't want to re-release stuff that's never really something that anyone wants to do yeah, it's more do a of remix like, album right yeah. it's it's that's more of like a label get sean thing. paul on it or yeah you know, pitbull oh, or whatever yeah 
Pitbull. Um, he's on Justin everything Bieber. now. He's on like every song. Pitbull yeah. is. It's insane. Yeah, it's true. He's everywhere. He lives in Miami. Maybe we could just, you know. Yeah, it'd be easy. Drive down. Have our peeps hit up his peeps. You know. Yeah. It'd be easy. It'd be easy. It'd be good. Yeah, exactly. One of the cool things about putting out, because with the internet and things, you have such direct access to songs and with fans and things. You can put out a song one by one if you wanted. If you right. want. So that's, do you think the industry is moving more towards doing smaller releases, like six or seven tracks on an album, since it's so easy to put them out right away as soon as you finish them? I think so. Yeah, it's so. it's such a weird thing, because like, as a band, we want to put out a full length, mm-hmm. um, but it's obvious that albums don't really sell as well as they used to, or even half of what they used to. Yeah. So, And it's very much becoming a singles market with the way that iTunes is yeah. and everything like that. So it's weird, but I feel like uh, the industry is kind of heading towards this way where like bands are just going to start releasing singles and new songs like maybe once a month or something like that mm-hmm. to try to stay relevant because you put out an album and people forget about that 10 or 12 song album two months later and then you already have to, you know, think about a yeah. new album, you mm-hmm. know? Right. So, uh, I don't know, but that would be kind of cool. I it's should pitch that. Like yeah. pitch that. Like <laughs> pitch that. Because bands like Radiohead now, they kind of put out, and like Nine Inch Nails and those kind of bands, they kind of just trickle down songs right. as they release them. But then you kind of don't get the idea of having a full, you know, 12 song album with the beginning, middle, and end kind of thing. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of a weird balance that you want to make with music nowadays. Yeah. yeah. I feel like, you know, putting out smaller portions, but f- more frequently is not only it it saves a lot of money and it mm-hmm. also it just it keeps people's attention you yeah. know and it's it's so easy to lose people's attention now so you know mm-hmm. got to do what you got to do right you guys already talked about a little bit you were on your song candles was on glee recently yeah. this season how did that come about i'm always <clears throat> a little curious as to who talks to whom to get it all started um our manager texted me one day and was <laughs> like hey glee's talking about using candles and nice. we, i freaked out we were all freaking out and are then, you a gleek um i would but you are now right gleek. i am now okay, yeah yeah, better uh, be. yeah no i've seen it and i think it's great and i love how they incorporate music in a tv show and it keeps music relevant which is awesome but yeah. um but yeah they they totally just came to us and asked if we they could use it and wow. obviously we said of course yeah you know. Some bands don't like it now. There's so, a lot of yeah. like, I've been hearing more and more people are just telling them to buzz off or something. Um, Why do they do that? Who cares? It's free publicity. It's, it's ignorant. I think it's just like people being afraid what people other people are gonna think, or mm-hmm. they just hate the show. Maybe that's yeah. why. But it's kind of you know. unhateable if you watch it. Even if yeah. you you can go in just being like, no, I'm not gonna watch right, this. Right, and then you right. watch it, and you're like, oh, there's it's nothing. True. Yeah. There's nothing bad that can come out of a show or, or anybody for that matter covering your right. song. Yeah. No. Even if they butcher it, then they're like, all right, whatever. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it still gets things out. And yeah. Luckily, they, they did a phenomenal job and it was, it's a huge show and it did nothing but wonderful things for us. It Good. was an yeah. honor to be on it. You yeah. Know? Awesome. It was really cool. Gonna have any more? Are you gonna make songs, kind of hoping that they put them on Glee now? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make songs strictly for Glee. Candles too. Glee candles now. too. It's coming. I'm gonna write from 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 the little the two gay boys perspective. <laughs> and I'm gonna make a song about after the kiss. <laughs> yeah, it's called they kiss. They kissed. That's, yeah, ooh. that's what it's gonna call. Nice. Be called. I'll be waiting for it. <laughs> I'm holding you to it. It's gotta come out now. You guys are I some crazy maniac posted like every tour that you've ever had on on your wikipedia page oh wow i was looking what? i was doing research for you guys and it's Must all the way back long. from like 2008 or 2007 or something, wow. something yeah. crazy like that's that. crazy so you guys obviously tour a lot yes um is this the dirty work tour with all time low and yellow card how is that going for you so far you've been on the road for about a month with them is that right yeah it's it's yeah it's almost a month yeah it's like 75 percent over which is really sad but that's sad. yeah we've had a lot of fun and the crowds have been amazing it's yeah. been really really cool to see a band like yellow card come back and right. just dominate and um all time low are really good friends of ours, and it's really awesome touring with them again mm-hmm. and hearing some new songs. Yeah. Um, and the summer set are great. They're like the perfect opening. Band yeah, you've toured for, with them a couple times. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So it's cool. It's like it's like the Glamour Kills tour we did with All Time Low like mm-hmm. two years ago or something, a mm-hmm. year and a half ago. Yeah. But you know, it's a few different bands, but it's really, really good. Nice. Really good. Where are you guys going after the tour? Um, we're actually going to stay in Baltimore for a few days and fly yeah. out to Indonesia. Wow. And um, we're going to play one show there. So it's going to be quite <laughs> it's gonna be the, better be a big one. A few days, yeah. yeah. Um, and with the Rocket to the Moon and the Downtown Fiction. Okay, cool. 
And then in August, we're going to Brazil for wow. a, a bunch of shows with Never Shout Never. Wow. So Worldwide. Yeah. Is that, is that your first time overseas, or have you done it before? We've, we've done stuff overseas. We've never been to those places specifically. Okay. But Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, we're getting ready to head up. So um, anything else you guys want to say before we go? Um, thanks for having us again. Yeah. And thanks for tuning in. Great. All right. Thanks a lot, you guys, for coming in here. You can check them out at Hey Monday Music. Dot com. That's the website, yeah, right? Got it. New album coming out soon. Candles music video. Check it out. Watch Glee. Hear the song again. Yeah. And uh, come to the show next time they're here because they're touring nonstop all the, time. all the time. All right. Thanks a lot again, guys. I'm Jim Tyndall, and thank you for checking out therave.com. Yeah. Woo! Thank you. Oh. Perfect. <laughs>